How's it going guys, it's Kyle the How to Guy123 here and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use macros in Audacity. So macros are really useful if you are applying a whole bunch of effects to an audio clip. Rather than actually going in and applying each effect one by one, we can actually apply a whole bunch of effects at once with just one click of a button. This is also very useful if you're applying a bunch or a set of effects to multiple audio clips or projects. So for example here, uh, whenever I record a video or record audio in Audacity, I like to edit it. I usually, you know, remove the background noise. I add a compressor, add bass and treble. I um, use a hard limiter and then I normalize the clip. You know, going in and applying each effect one by one can take quite a bit of time and can be kind of annoying when I'm, you know, doing this a whole bunch of times. Uh, it gets quite repetitive. So what I did is I actually uh, created a macro which will apply all these effects uh, to the clip with the just one click of a button. So let's go ahead and record this test clip here. Let's play it back. This is a test clip for Audacity macros. So if I apply the macro, I just come up here to tools, apply macro, uh, call this macro YouTube. There we go. It just applied a whole bunch of effects at once with just one click of a button. So let's play this back. I'll actually turn it down a little bit. So it might be a bit loud. This is a test clip for Audacity macros, and there we go. So let's actually see how I create this macro. So I'll just uh, do all those effects, and uh, let's create a new macro. So come up here to Tools, Apply mac or, uh, Macros, and we'll just create a new macro. And to do that, just click on the New button and give it a name. So I'll call it Tutorial. Click on OK. And now let's insert our effects. So you would do that over here where it says Edit Steps. Make sure that this end is highlighted then click on insert. So the first thing I do is I highlight the first uh, four seconds of a clip, which, um, so basically I usually leave uh, four seconds of just white noise, just to sample any background noise. So we're gonna go ahead and select the first four seconds by finding the select uh, effect. You can also just hit S on the keyboard and it'll bring to the S effect. So we'll click on select, then we'll click on edit parameters and the start time of the selection is going to be 0 seconds and the end time is going to be 4 which is 4 seconds. So click on OK then OK again. So the first step in this macro is to select the first 4 seconds uh, of this clip. So the next thing I do, once again make sure that the end is selected. Click on insert. And the reason why we select the end is it's going to put all of our effects above the end. So if you were to have, um, it's going to put your effects above the next one. Whoops. At the delete effect, you could just click on the delete button there. So if I had this, if I had the first step selected, the next effect would be put above the select. So make sure the end is always selected uh, before inserting a new effect. Uh, so the next thing I do is I add noise removal. So let's find noise removal or noise reduction. Click on OK or click on edit parameters. And then I get the, the noise profile to sample the background noise or the white noise. Click on OK. And then the next thing I do is I I select the entire clip, so we'll go to insert and then select all. There we go. Click on OK. So now I select the entire clip. Now I go back to noise reduction, edit parameters, and I usually just leave these default. Click on OK. So the next thing I do is I use a compressor. So I click on compressor. Once again, I usually just leave these defaults, so I'll click on OK. OK again. Uh, after that, I use equalization. So let's find equalization. Edit parameters, and usually here I add a bass boost. Click on OK, then OK again. Insert. And now I equalize it again. Edit parameters here, I add a treble boost. Click on OK. Uh, after that, I use a hard limiter, so I'll just find limiter, edit parameters, and here I usually just leave it at a hard limiter or hard limit, and limit it to minus 3.5. Going OK, OK again. Now the final thing I do is I normalize it. So let's find normalize, normalizer. And then you you don't actually need to um, edit the parameters every time. You can just use its default. Uh, presets by just clicking on it and then clicking on OK. So anyways, our macro is pretty much done. We can just click on OK to finish it. Oh yeah, one more thing. Uh, like I mentioned before, use delete. Uh, you can highlight an effect that you want to delete, then click the delete button if you want to remove that effect. If you want to move an effect uh, up or down in the sequence, so let's say you wanted to 
select your entire clip first. You could just move that up to the very top and I'll select everything first. And uh, if you want to move this step down, move it down there. Uh, I think that's everything I want to go through. We can now click on OK. And now we can go up to Tools again, uh, Apply Macro, and Apply Tutorial. And now it has just uh, applied our macro. Now we can play it back. This is a test clip for Audacity macros. I was a little bit loud, but you can see that our macro actually worked uh, perfectly fine there. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope to help. If it did, leave a like. If it didn't, leave a dislike. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section below. And I'll try my best to help you guys out. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.